Yeah, I, I was really happy. Great performance, uh, mentality, everything we've been kind of harping on and, and won. We saw it tonight and, you know, really pleased. I mean, a lot of good performances out there and, and you know, look, the, this is the time of year to have this and continue to build off. But, yeah, really pleased with, with the effort and, and execution today. We were talking about uh, how a missed opportunity last game. If you look over your last seven, you guys are on fire. I think you're like 5-0-2. You about to score the bonus, 19-2. What is it about Akron soccer that, man, those leaves start turning colors and you guys just pick it up another notch? Yeah, I think we build confidence and, and we work our game. And I, I think when we get to October and November, I think we have a good idea of what we're really good at. And um, we fine tune some things. And then it's all about from there just keeping the, the edge and the mentality high to perform at a good level. And, and you know, I think that's what you saw tonight. Well, we've talked in the past about how much the first 10 games really prepare you for these last three, which are really important. What is it about the early part of the season where you kind of find out who you are and how much do you use that later on? I think the first 10 games is very important. It kind of sets a tone for the rest of the year. we got to take our mentality from that, and uh, I think we just build on top of that. we got to keep pushing and pushing. So, Looking at the next game, you beat that, I think you beat them, what, 4-1 the first time? How do you not overlook a team like that knowing how important these last three games are? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's so important to realize that every opponent is, everyone's a D1 college team and they're very strong guys and you kind of just got to show up each day and like have have the mindset that it's the national final and it's just so important to get the team ready for these games and everyone focused. Looking at these last three games, where is this team right now? Is it where you need it to be? What do you do in these next three games to prepare for that MAC tournament, to prepare for the NCAA, hopefully? I mean, I think the team, in my opinion, is ready to take on these three games, do what we need to do, but this is what we're going to find out. you got to go on the road to NIU, and, and we've struggled there of late, and we got to deal with that game and, and get the result. But, I mean, I feel like this team is capable and ready to go on a long run. It's all about, you know, our mentality, the focus each day, and continuing to stay on task, right? And not look ahead or, or look behind too much, just stay in the moment. Last question for you, actually for all of you. Looking at this game, going back to the BG game, you said you wanted to see some things. Did you see it tonight? What did you see out of this game that you didn't see in that BG game? Yeah, I, I thought, you know, obviously we had two goals pretty early, and, and I think we had two goals in two minutes. and. And for me, that's a great sign of what we're looking for mentality-wise is a fast start, and then once we get on you, to continue to attack. And, you know, today we, we showed that. And I think at BG, we just kind of started a little slow and, and, you know, gave up some minutes in the game in tough conditions that maybe we, we needed at the end of the game. Uh, so I was just pleased that we came out ready to go and, and firing and stayed on it the whole game.